Hello everyone and welcome to Wakil Law. I am Shivani and today we are going to discuss about a very important topic and a subject these days. This topic is about intellectual property rights. So in this video we shall be taking an overview of the concept of intellectual property rights where I will be discussing about the background of intellectual property, its rights and at the same time we will also be discussing about the meaning and definitions of intellectual property as well as intellectual property rights. So let's get started. Okay, so now let's begin with the basic concept of IPR or intellectual property rights. At some times I'll be referring intellectual property rights as IPR and intellectual property as IP. So as we all know that IPR is gaining immense importance in the last few decades. So we're getting exposed to different kinds of platforms in this changing world. So you know the um, ratio of demand for new concepts and the supply of new concepts is also at a balanced rate. We can say that easily. So you know uh, this talent based content where you know there is a use of the human mind or where there is some kind of creativity or creation is on an increasing rate these days. So and also these uh, talent based content is getting a lot of appreciation is very significant and at the same time it's getting attention and appreciation at the same time. So it's a very positive sign that these days people are becoming aware about intellectual property rights or IPR. They are now understanding the role, the importance and significance of IPR and the awareness is increasing day by day. As I said that we are now getting exposed to different platforms and uh, where there is a lot of appreciation and there is an invitation to new talent. But the person who is an owner or the creator of such talent requires some kind of protection for the creation that he has made. So here the concept of IPR or intellectual property rights plays a key role. So now the main question arises, what is intellectual property? So to put it in simple words, intellectual property is the creation of intellect. Here intellect refers to the human mind. Now uh, going a bit further, we shall now discuss but what are the forms of IP or intellectual property or what are the kinds of intellectual property or uh, intellectual property are in which forms? So basically uh, they can be in the form of research. They can be in the form of any kind of drawing or painting. They can be uh, in the form of a logo or a musical composition or an uh, invention or books or software or any mathematical formula many more. I've just illustrated a few of them. So it's important here to note that any forms, as I said, any forms or what we call as products. So, you know, as I said that books or uh, any musical composition or any drawing, painting, mathematical formula, etc. You can take any form of creation. So that can also be uh, called as a product or any type of intellectual property should be a one which is a creation of the human mind or is invented from the human mind. Okay, so now we all are uh, aware of what is the concept or basic backdrop of intellectual property. Now moving forward, we shall now discuss the meaning of or the definition of intellectual property. Understand, I am now discussing the definition and meaning of intellectual property. Intellectual property rights definition I will be discussing in the later part of the video. So understand now what is intellectual property. So a simple definition meaning of intellectual property reads as an intangible property that is a result of creativity such as patents copyrights, etc. Okay, so the meaning uh, basically comprises of the following important points. Listen to them very carefully. 
intellectual property is an intangible property you can see on your screens that i have put up the points which define intellectual property so first is intellectual property is an intangible property second point such property is a result of creativity now what is creativity that is an invention of the human mind which i have discussed earlier now here understand clearly that the property or product which is created with the invention or creation of the human mind is tangible now what is tangible so that which can be seen or heard touched or felt or sensed by the human body but the right the intellectual property right which the owner of such intellectual property possesses against the whole world is intangible now what is intangible so that which cannot be seen or heard which cannot be touched which cannot be felt or sensed by the human body but which exists now moving further i am citing some definitions of intellectual property which you can see on your screens which read as so the first definition reads intellectual property can be defined as creations of the mind inventions literary and artistic works and symbols names and images and used in commerce the second definition refers to the protection of creation of the mind which have both moral and commercial value so as i stated earlier intellectual property is a tangible property which can be seen felt heard by the human body which is a result of the invention or creation of the human mind and such property has both moral and commercial value whereas on the other hand intellectual property rights now understand i am talking about intellectual property rights so those are intangible that is which cannot be sensed felt uh, seen or touched by the human body but they exist in reality so intellectual property rights is possessed by the exclusive owner of the property here the word exclusive owner plays a very important role you will get to know about it in the later videos where we'll be uh, you know seeing about copyrights or patents where the concept of exclusive owner plays a very key role i'll discuss about it when we'll discuss about copyrights and patents and such right which is owned by the exclusive owner is against the whole world that is no one can copy or imitate or use that property without the permission of the exclusive owner which means that you require to have the consent of the exclusive owner if you wish to use that particular uh, art form or any kind of property intellectual property that that exclusive owner possesses okay and lastly i would like to draw your attention to a very important point that this intellectual property right which is owned by the exclusive owner is a legal right okay so let me now sum up with what we have discussed in today's video so basically in the first uh, place we discussed about the uh, that you know intellectual property is and its uh, protection of its rights is garnering a lot of importance in today's changing world so talent based content and protection of such content is now the need of the hour also i discussed what is intellectual property so basically the very basic definition of intellectual property is an in, an creation of the intellect and intellect is nothing but the human mind so anything that is created by the intellect or by the human mind is nothing but intellectual property so in the later part we saw the forms or types of uh, intellectual property so which were 
I cited a few of them, which was research, drawing or painting, logo, music composition, books, software, mathematical formula, inventions, etc. Then I also drew your attention to an important point where such forms or products should be the one which is a creation or an invention of the human mind. I discussed about this earlier. You can uh, rewind the video and check if you wish to once again. Later, I discussed about the meaning and definition of intellectual property. So simple dictionary meaning intellectual property is a result of creativity. Examples are patents, copyrights, etc. So I also drew our attention to the important points which define intellectual property. Those were it is an intangible property and such property is a result of creativity. That is an invention of the human mind. So a property or product which is created with the invention of human mind is tangible. But the right which is created for protection of such intellectual property is intangible that is which cannot be seen heard felt or touched by the human body but it exists in real sense later i discussed definitions of intellectual property you can also check them in the uh, previous part of the video so now in the upcoming video i'll be discussing about intellectual property laws and the characteristics of intellectual property and intellectual property rights so see you in the next video till then this is me shivani signing off goodbye and have a nice day